After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh. Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? No. A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Fucking hell, it's, um... Boss. That's right. It's me. Alex, from bloody episode one and... Well, Half-Life 2, period. Me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years. Kind of similar. Two days and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack, I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time. And so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy. <laughs> well, that's all for debate, terms. really, isn't it? But the enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms. The puppets change. The, the leaders do. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right. But do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. 
the Cobra Unit, a group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC? Close quarters combat, huh? I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. I hope it's all, all gotcha. going to memory at phone, like, I can't remember all these fucking codec Dr. numbers. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth <laughs> mission. We'll see. We'll see about that. Snake. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. <laughs> Commencing virtuous mission now. So is it going to be a weird one compared to the previous Metal Gear games then? Like, like they were saying, like, more survival, like, staying alive and... Like, it says this weird camo system in the top left. Oh, 80%! Got no chance of spotting me there. Oh, it's nice I pushed the glass, the grass away. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah? yeah? Oh, I just pressed um, the thumbstick button there. It seems to go from, like... More modern, like, control the camera sort of shit to, like, it's controlling the camera for me, though. Oh, fair enough. Sorry, I didn't it's, it's probably that same option that you were just saying about me, then. Sorry. Impressive! Snakes! If you can't beat them, eat them! <laughs> Good luck, OTG, from Nye255. Thank you very much, dude! It's bloody clear that I got us onto bloody eating snakes. I mean, I know the, I know the game name fucking says Snake Eater, but it's bloody clear that I got onto all that. So to the north, apparently. I'm not. Oh, okay. Is that Russian? In the top. What? What? I don't, I don't know why I need like dual text, but go on. I didn't even know that was a zone boundary there until it started to like letterbox in. Does it start to letterbox if you're gonna zone? It does, doesn't it? What's with snakes like? Raptor impression. What's he doing that for? You like, um, Claire, you like Snake's Raptor impression? Pretty good. Huh? Snake's Raptor impression. Oh! He looks cute! <laughs> <laughs> this position is for all the ladies. <laughs> Upside down dead cat. <laughs> Impressive! You've broken the cycle. It took five plus years to... Get to Metal Gear Solid 3, now Me uh, sorry, Metal Gear Solid 2. Now Metal Gear Solid 3 in the same year as Metal Gear Solid 2. Also, use this money to buy Claire a new mic slash computer. From Risen Hemlock. Thank you very much, dude. I got Claire a new computer. Yeah. I got Claire a new computer, what was it, about six weeks ago? Three weeks ago? No, three weeks ago, my ass. Oh. It's, a bit, it's been at least a month or so. I know time flies when you spend it with Liam, like, but still. <laughs> no, uh, like I said, I got Claire a new PC on this year. It was much better than the old one, was it not? She's playing loads of um, Skyrim and shit at the moment, which just runs so much better on a new PC than what the old one did. Damn it, it's hard to see where the fuck you're going. Hey up! 
It's a fucking crocodile in your Metal Gears! I'm... Oh, okay, I just tranked to... Oh shit, there's more crocs. Leave it. Can I make some croc steaks? What the fuck? Oh, no, I got... No, I'm, I'm just trying to knife... I'll, I'll do a knife a crocodile. Maybe like on the front. Is this... Will I eventually kill this crocodile with my knife? Oh, is that enough? Oh, it, it's indestructible! No, it's not. Oh, what the fuck was that? Ah, uh, what just happened over here? I got tail swiped by a crocodile. So I get on my stomach and start knifing the shit out of it. The crocodile dies and explodes into polygons and then drops what what, what was it called? Argavial or something like that. that it's like what happened in the last minute? Crocodile hits me. I trank a crocodile. It hits me. So I, I take a fence, start knifing it. And it explodes into polygons. Very similar to Resident Evil 1 Cube Snake. Where it explodes into like loads of fucking cubes and shit. Well, that's kind of what that crocodile just did. What was that? What did... <laughs> I just don't know why he exploded into polygons, but oh well. Oh, what the goodies over there? Are these going to get aggressive or am I, I alright just to like... Oh, it didn't, it didn't seem to hold. I've got a mic straight away. Speed crocodile. Silent bastard. There's nothing to hear in the jungle, which is kind of bollocks, because I'm sure there would be. Right, so leave the crocodiles alone this time. Try that way. Is, it, is, there, is there a map? No, that's the codex screen. Actually, let's drop down a save. Just wait a minute. Am I fucking sinking there? Everywhere. Um, save. Saving the game, Snake. <laughs> yes, there we go. New file. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to skip. Have you heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? No, what is it? No, no I knew it was going to be long. It, that, no, you see, I'm not... That's not my fault. Uh, that's the only... Oh, what, no, I am sinking. I'm sinking really quickly. What? Nobody screams at me anymore. Oh, there we go. Snake! Snake! <laughs> well, I didn't know I was in fucking quicksand or whatever like that. Have I got to re-knife that fucking crocodile? It took... It took ages, but he dropped loads of our gavials. I don't even know what the fucking are. I think I just missed the uh, crocodile this time. Just pick up the shit. Bullets are full. How do you stop yourself? Oh, I didn't. I didn't mean to shoot. So how do you stop stop yourself from um, from sinking? Oh well, fuck it. There we go. He's got all muddy. He has, hasn't he? Cool. He's got no muddy from wading through all the shit. I say, is there a map or anything like start? No. Hey, Snake looks pretty good. Look at her, ain't Very young. Holy shit. Camouflage.
Apparently I would get in plus 20 for using Tiger Stripe. Fair enough. But face. I would gain plus 5 from using Woodland. Hey, alright, fair enough. What's in the backpack? That's just the regular uh, menu, isn't it? Food? I've got calorie mate. <laughs> calorie mate, not eating yet, taste unknown. <laughs> it's a balanced food though. In block form. Oh no, that's what I wanted. Map. I need a map, right. Oh, how very unuseful. Apparently I'm, I'm close to zoning. Oh, of course I am. Cutscenes. Um, not cutscenes. Um, borders. Some weird binoculars. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK 47s and grenades. I love both of them. Snake, your presence in Soviet show territory it. is already a violation of international law. Can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform. Oh, I've done that. The face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. I like that system. That seems also, pretty alright. So don't far, anyway. Don't that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. If you just stand up and run around like an idiot, you're bound to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot and vice versa. The key is to make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? I'll try, I'll try. I mean, I'm not gonna make any promises. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes. Oh, what's this? I meant to go this way? I don't care, I'm, I'm going that way. A dead end, but surely good. Yeah, here we go. What's this? SVD. Dragon of Sniper Rifle. Use scope with left button, press X to button. Oh, raise to fire, just scope with the Y button. Cool, I got a fucking sniper rifle. I could have easily missed that. So what, I've got the option of either sneaking past or shooting them? I know which I prefer. But no, let's sneak past. It's the entire point of the game. Let's try sneak past them. Can I go? What the fuck? No, that didn't count. I didn't know it was there. Where's my fucking? There's no mini map. I need to find a nerd. Bring on the mini map. Ah, that was like the worst start ever, man. The alert music's cool, though. Really? I, I, I trunked him in the dick. I'm dead now. Did you get trunked. I trunked you in the end. This has gone so well already. Still swing them around? You can. Goodies. There we go, goodies. 
Any goodies out of you? Oh yeah, goodies! SVD bullets full. What about you? Full and full. Anybody else coming or alright to leave? Fuck's sake though, I, only, I went out here and got spoiled instantly. I'm like, yeah, 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 let's take it all stealthy. Okay, I'll try to break your neck. <laughs> What's he doing to him? Why do we smell that so comical? Oh, this has gone badly. This has gone zone, zone, quickly. <laughs> this has gone so badly. <laughs> Coming from the other end of the. Oh! Let's be gone! What's the shooting with? Oh, there he is. I'm kind of fucked, really, aren't I? I need to fucking hide or something like that, but there's nowhere to hide around here. Oh, look, look, as soon as I do that, the bum rush me. No, Snake, get up. You're dead. You're dead. No, stop lying down, Snake. What are you doing? Stand up. Run. Other way. No, you're getting fucked, dude. You're getting fucked. What do you want? Take more trank. I need to get this alert off. Now, now is not the time to be looking for goodies. No goodies. Don't even need it. Oh, got a grenade. What the fuck am I going to hide? Well, they don't seem to know where I am here. Wait for the evasion to go. Oh shit, is that the um, durability of the espresso that we're talking about? That's fucked already, man. Right, at least it's only on caution now. Thing is, though, like you said, they're still in. Snake, wait, snake, I'm just trying to like crawl to the right, dude. Right here we go. They're still on fucking alert, so they're gonna see me, and it's gonna trigger the bloody evasion shit again. Oh, snake, man, seriously. Fine then, crawl there. And where are they all? No, I can't see anybody. So let me zone. Where is the zone anyway? I've forgotten now. Map. Where's the fucking zone? What? I've gone past it. Just... Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. You can piss off. Good. No investigation, sir.
Well, at least I'm 75% camouflage at the moment, so... I can't see where the fuck I'm heading, though. There's no minimap telling me where they are. I could just walk right up to them for all I know. There's two guys on the bridge. And a guy right there. Quickly, Grass. That's like, respring. How the fuck am I supposed to get across there? Is it a bit easier when the Let's give it 20 seconds, see if it's a bit easier once they're off high alert. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get across there. Impressive. I beg to differ with how I've played so far, but yeah. So many guards. This is HQ. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to your position. How the fuck am I gonna get across that bridge with nobody noticing me? I mean, what have I got? Uh, my option, like, a trunk pistol, a mic, uh, that's about it. I thought he had a, wait a minute, I thought he had a sniper rifle. Where's the sniper rifle? I picked up, I picked up a, an SVD. How come I don't have it? That can't be right. How come I don't have the um, sniper rifle anymore? Shit. Bloody blade of grass in the way. Oh my god. He's right behind the fucking- Ah, it's alright. Right, so those two sorted out, but what about this knobhead coming across the bridge now? How the fuck are we gonna get across there without him seeing me? Dude, don't stand there! There we go. Well, I guess that's one way of doing it. Fuck it, let's get across there. I could, I, I could do with killing them. So they don't wake up and start, like, grassing me out. Is that him dead? It is indeed. Any goodies? What do you mean? I would have picked up the AK-47 if it had let me. There we go. I say, where, where is my sniper rifle? Cause they're coming under there. Oh yeah, if you actually go into the, oh well, there we go. Stun grenade, grenades, calorie mate. May as well put it all in there. There we go, now we got shit. No. Good job, man, good job. How do you fucking. How do you zoom with it? That's a quip. 